I recently um, added a JSON module to the Magic Components library, and I just wanted to show you quickly how you can make use of that. So JSON is a format that looks something like this. It's a format that gets used a lot for uh, web services nowadays, and uh, I wrote a magic wrapper around this that lets you um, parse it and deal with it as magic objects. So JSON, you can read more about it online if you Google it. But JSON essentially has key value pairs that can be either objects, uh, which are represented by these curly braces, or arrays, which are represented by these um, square brackets. And then it can have um, you know, embedded objects and embedded, embedded arrays. So the first thing you'll need to do is to uh, go to the Magic Components Library. Uh, the Magic Components Library is right here. You can actually find it at assembla.com spaces and Magic Components. And there's a wiki on there that describes how, um, how you can access the data. So uh, this space uses a subversion as the repository. So you can set up um, subversion uh, client on your uh, desktop, and you can uh, re refresh your, your trunk from all the latest uh, code that's out there. So you have JSON there. So the first thing you'll want to do is add the, the product. And uh, in this case, it was the McLib trunk. That's how I have it set up in my environment. Um, and then you'll need to uh, load the the JSON module. You can use the module manager dialog, but I just like to do it from the magic prompt. And then finally, um, you can parse the file. So JSON can come either as a file stream, you can parse it as a file stream, you can parse it as a string. Maybe if you downloaded it uh, using some HTTP classes, or in this case, I'm going to say parse the file. So I'm taking this file up here and parsing it. Now if I do a print on JP, you can see uh, it's an object because the outer um, tokens were these curly braces, and it's got one argument. So you could say um, chart shape returns an array, but that's not how the JSON notation works. You can actually say, um, basically, um, you can use the dot notation for methods. So let's print that out. So you could say chart shape dot name. Oops, there was no name. Because the chart shape was an array, and that array had a bunch of JSON objects at chart shape. You take the first item in the array, and then ask it for its name. Or you could ask it for its coordinates. And that's all there is to it. And then once you have it parsed in, in magic, you can manipulate it the way you want um, for whatever application you have. So that's all there is to it. Uh, please feel free to, to add where you see fit. Um, I've also added a JSON test module where it can test various scenarios. Um, that's still in a bit of, uh, we still need to integrate it with the latest M unit, but um, you can look at examples there as well. Enjoy.